You say you have a concern? I'm trying to find this. I don't even know how to find it. This is Kathy. Does anyone want some of this? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. My advice, mm -mm. if well, you're going to make this, what? don't. It's kind of in the evening time. Mostly just what I did today is I like ran an errand in the mark in the afternoon and then I went to band practice and it was like a pretty long band practice. It was like two and a half hours. And afterwards I went in the gas station. I saw on the newspaper section and I saw Rolling Stones August issue. Which was some people were talking about how it was a big controversy. Some people were talking about how they they were angry. Um, some people, yeah, mostly that's all people were talking about. But I had heard about it, and I was really surprised that it was even real. At first, when I first saw the cover, I was like, is this really real? But the magazine was put on stands on August 1st, and it's August 7th. And I think the reason I'm just now seeing it is because pretty much a lot of stores aren't selling it because um, of the controversy and because they just don't want to sell it. But I, I happened to be in a Shell. I think it was a Shell gas station. And it was there and I picked it up. So this is what the cover looks like if you still haven't seen it yet called the bomber and I started reading the article and my thoughts on this whole thing kind of changed when I started reading the article so the article is called Jahar's world and it starts off by talking about Jahar's coach um, and what it was like for him when he first realized that it was one of his um, students, or one of the kids that he mentored, that was the bomber. And then they go into what happened at the marathon and the days after, before he was um, finally caught. And then it goes into his history and his family's history and it shows a lot of pictures here. There is him right there. Um, I think that's his brother. Uh, that's him too. That is also a picture of him and his three siblings. I'm not done reading it yet, but uh, it talks about how when he was like eight, he grew up in this country um, and there was a lot of war happening and it was really dangerous. And so when he was eight, um, him and his parents came to America um, hoping that they could stay here and after a year they got um, like the rights to stay here and then his three other siblings came eventually and that's kind of where I left off they're talking about like his high school days right now and um, there are some quotes in here from some of his friends too and uh, that's kind of where I am right now it's pretty sad, but um... You guys, look what I bought today. Cool, what about it? Why'd you... Oh, why not? I was like, cool, what about it? Oh. Shell was actually selling it. Hey, I think the reason I didn't even know this was on shelves is because no one's selling it. Wait, Fred Meyer was selling it? No, Shell Gas Station. Oh. Not even 7-Eleven is selling it, I think. But anyway, Mom, look what I bought. I saw this um, at the Shell gas station and you know basically no store is selling it because they all don't want to. Yeah, they're making him um, look like a hero. Mom, if you're going to read the story, you should start at the beginning. Did you guys get that Amber Alert that went out today? 
I was in band practice and my phone started buzzing. I was reading this article. And then I went down and read the first comment. I'm gonna read some of this comment to you. It says, here's why most of them are rooting for him. He's young and cute. The same way Scott Peterson had girls following him and the Menendez brothers had people following him. If you're from the Boston area like me, we've seen all of his high school and college pictures. He's the everyman, 19 year old with shaggy hair and awkwardness that the millennials identify with. It's sad and it's messed up he and his brother did this, but they did it. It doesn't matter if they were hotter than Mariah Jocelyn, or fat or old or woman or Muslim or Catholic or atheist. They chose to go into a crowd for the sole purpose of killing people. We can wax poetic over evil and if it's generic, or he could have done such and such to change his life, but he didn't. He chose to do it and he will most likely die for this. He's not Justin Bieber, he's not a revolutionary in another country that fought against apartheid or communism or was an author or anything. He was a college student that was angry and chose to kill. End of story. Stop supporting him and before the false flag and the job show up, I work at one of the hospitals where most patients were sent to and I was at the site of the bombing that day. This affected my hometown. I'm not some random person from the West Coast latching onto something I wasn't part of. I'm not saying I agree with what she's saying or that I don't agree with what she's saying. I just wanted to read that comment. Anyway, when that newspaper, when I first found out about that newspaper, I was, I was, my reaction was like, why are they putting him on the cover of Rolling Stone? They're making him look like a rock star because Rockstar is going to cover of Rolling Stone, and I think that's what a lot of other people said. What do you guys think about this cover? Did you even know about it? Are you buying it? Are you not buying it? What are your feelings about it? Are you furious about it? Are you happy about it? That, My mom's dinner looks really good. Usually the are very sensitive about the customer complaint. And when people have complained at PCC, they tell me. I'm making tomato mozzarella toast for dinner. First real thing I've eaten today. I kind of burnt it a little, but this is what it looks like. Okay, so you said you have a concern? I'm trying to find this album that you said is there. I don't even know how to find it. This is Does anyone want some of this? Hold on, hold on, hold on. My advice, mm -mm. if well, you're going to make this, what? don't. I'm watching The Very Very Life, a new vlog that I found. I love it. It's about two people that live in New York. They have like two dogs and a cat. And they went to Juilliard. I pled to go to Juilliard, but that's another story. So, that bread and stuff didn't really fill me up, so I'm getting some cereal, and I'm watching some panels that people put on YouTube from VidCon, and hopefully they're going to be helpful. Hmm, <sighs> cereal's okay. Mostly. I don't know how to say it. Oh my gosh, Marie. So, you did your hair like that by yourself? No, Justin Bieber helped me, actually. Can you show the camera? Can you look at the camera? What do you call this style? Why? <laughs> I scene. don't know. Oh, you're trying to have seen hair? Yeah, I kind of thought so. The fridge is open. The what? Oh. Oh. The oh. nightlife of our family consists of computer. Mommy wants you to go to her room. Sleeping. Hey, it's fine. Sleeping for my brother. Yeah. Oh, iPhone yeah. for her. Yeah. And computer for her, except for this time because my mom took it away. It's so messy in here. I'm going to this. I'm going to try a new comic book store tomorrow. It's in Pike Place Market, so. 
I'm excited. I'm asking but our neighbor went, here why he went, stopped playing Minecraft. But when I yeah, went to answer. another, like, to capture the other team's like, another Necro was there and it was spawning Ender Dragons. And that made you stop playing Minecraft? Yes, it made me RQ. You hate Do you guys it. understand what he's Three talking about? How'd that Coke commercial go? Sing and joy, enough to go around, enough to go around and around and around.